officially made it to 38 weeks today. Like, I thought he would have been out by 36, but we're at 38 today. So two more weeks, but everybody's been telling me after I posted yesterday's bump picture that I look like he's about to come out any day now. And pretty much that's what the doctor said. Welcome to this week's bump date. We are 38 weeks today. I just put the sticker on my water bottle for 38 weeks, two weeks left. Um, I don't know if we're going to make it two more weeks. Sometimes I feel like we're going to make it to the due date. And other times I feel like he's going to be here literally at any point. He's just so low. I could barely even walk now. But as of now, he's still in here. I ate the pineapple. Nothing happened, which I figured. Um, the tea, I've been drinking, but I haven't been drinking it every single day three cups a day so um but that's not supposed to make me go into labor that's just supposed to help with labor um but i do want to keep drinking it at least um from now until i do go into labor um what else i haven't been doing much walking i do have my 38 week appointment tomorrow at the doctor's and she is gonna check for the first time for any dilation I'm hoping she says I'm like out of five <laughs> and then I have to head to labor and delivery which I know she's not gonna say but I'm excited to find out if I'm dilated at all or you know I'm excited to see what she has to say but that's where we're at 38 weeks today also I have officially finished packing my hospital bags This is my diaper bag that has the baby stings in there. This is a backpack for me. It has um, some of my things in there. And then this is like the bigger luggage um, that has more things for me and my boyfriend. I'm putting it. <laughs> Somehow, putting it by the door makes me feel like tomorrow we're just gonna grab it and go. So, <laughs> this is where I'm leaving it. Car seat, baby bag, my bag, both of our bag, a blanket, and I think we're set. My boyfriend's cousin came over like two days ago and she brought me this gift some onesies six to nine months which is good because I don't need any little clothes anymore she got me a big old pack of diapers she swears I need them and then she gave me um, baby detergent which is good because this is actually the brand I'm using so I thought that was nice of her didn't expect the gift and then my best friend sent me this really cool sign for the car mijo on board how cute is this and it's actually a sticker it's not like a like one of those window signs that you can take on and off it's a sticker it's from fuchila refreshners Never heard of them, but I thought it was really cute. She has one that says Mija on board, or Mijas, Mija or Mijas. And then she sent me Mijo on board, so that was so cute. So I just got out of my appointment and I'm a little upset. They did check for dilation and I'm literally at a zero. Like literally at a zero. I swear I thought I was gonna be probably at a three my mom was saying probably four but she said it was literally zero so i feel a little 
what's the word like a little disappointed but I know that things can change literally from like now to a little while later I know that you know things change but I'm just upset to hear zero hey guys so it is Saturday today and I am 38 plus three days no difference yet I have been feeling you know some more cramping here and there but nothing major taking out the trash nothing major so I don't know we're still just waiting to see if anything changes but nothing nothing so far um, I have been drinking the tea I've been drinking three cups I'm gonna up it to four cups a day I did have some more time to think after I got out of the doctor appointment where I was upset or disappointed with um, not being dilated but I had some more time to like relax and you know think things through and at the end of the day it doesn't matter if you're dilated or not because regardless you're gonna get there you're gonna have to dilate dilate one way or another and also another way that i'm thinking of it is like technically till my actual due date which is february 2nd um it's still 10 more days so i don't know why in my head i've been trying to have him since like 36 weeks probably because the doctor at that doctor appointment the doctor told me oh any day now so in my head i'm like oh my god like literally any day now but in reality my due date is still 10 days away for february 2nd so if he's here from any time from today on out i mean it, it's good but if he decides to wait on his due date then that's fine too because that's his due date you know so i think it was just me very anxious to get him out <laughs> and meet him which i still am but i'm more relaxed about it but like i said i am continuing to drink the raspberry leaf tea um again it's not supposed to put you into labor it's just supposed to help uh like prep your body for labor so i'm still gonna drink that um i am doing some more walking and i tried getting that yoga ball but i couldn't find it in the stores i've been to so far so so far i'm just doing more walking and that's what i'm gonna continue doing the doctor did recommend to do like um hip widening exercises like the butterfly pose and hold it for like a couple minutes um i don't know i'm gonna youtube different hip opening exercises but pretty much that's the update nothing really has changed so <laughs> I came to sit outside for a bit because the weather is lovely today so one thing that Chevy oh my god he's following the Chevy he's following the shadow of the camera he always does that I don't know he's how he sees the shadows to everything anyway um so something I spoke about in my Instagram stories this morning as I was Rewatching all of my YouTube videos from the telling our parents we're pregnant, the gender reveal, um, buying the first things for the baby, and then yesterday I uploaded the like starting the nursery video. So, something I told, something I would recommend, especially if you are a first time mom, is record everything. Just record. Like, it doesn't matter if you're not going to post it on YouTube like I am, record everything because it's so cool to look back like this baby's not even here yet and it's already so cool and like crazy to rewatch all those videos and like see how everything happened like relive it you know and yeah take pictures you know take monthly pictures take all the pictures but record because video is literally reliving the experiences instead of a picture you know so definitely my advice for anyone that's pregnant, but especially first-time moms.